bunch of strong women up here tonight. <laughs> totally, totally just a coincidence, but please join me in welcoming the next strong woman of the stage, Gina Dow! You're welcome to hold it if you'd like. Just like uh, just move that stand, get out of your way. Own that stage drop. Yeah. Thanks on the floor. You guys doing If anyone has a shot they'd like to provide, I'll be happy to take as many as you've got. So, on the way, she provided me with a list of words that I am not to use this evening. I've got to say lit, as in Paul's picnic is lit. I can't say dank, I'm not even certain how one uses that word. I can't say jelly, like I'm so jelly, Grace's outfit is awesome. I can't say fam, like the only person in my fam that came today is my daughter. <laughs> I definitely can't say dope, as in comedy is just dope. Clothing is dope, everyone here is dope. I can't say bitchin'. Somehow she has taken my word me. I can't use the term four by four. Anyone here ever heard that? Yeah. Yeah. That's like the vampire slayer. Faith said four by four and everything was righteous. Can't use that. And Grace has already gone on this, but I am not to use the word moist. <laughs> or spunk, because apparently spunk has a different meaning now. <laughs> or damp, like my hair is damp from walking in the rain. And the word that really gets to the child? Succulent. <laughs> so we did the last show, and Paul had this really cool little light to let us know we had one minute left to go and I went full Jan Brady. The last 60 seconds, my brain shut down. I was waiting for the gong to go off, the big hook to come out, Jean Jean, the dance mission to come hip check me out of It was bad, I had PTSD. So, you know, Nick graciously takes these for us, records them, and, you know, I put not safe for everyone's use on my Facebook page, and I got a phone call from a friend who said, oh my God, your language. I couldn't believe your language. Do you fucking know me? <laughs> when have you not heard me? I'm like a sailor. And he said, I, I was just so offended and appalled. I said, did you miss the parental warning? He said, well, yeah, I just thought that was for kids. No, no that was for you. <laughs> so um, I turned 50 last month. I, I know. It's amazing. I feel that I look 27 if you don't look at the crow's feet and the gray hair. So the first thing you get on your 50th birthday, somehow ARP times the mail perfectly. Give <laughs> your little AA card, AARP membership card. I'm thinking, there's no way in hell I want this. I'm not that old. I'm only 50. 50 is what, the new 30? Yep. <laughs> exactly. And then I found I'm getting out of bed and my leg collapses and I fall to the ground and I'm laying there like a turtle, can't get up. <laughs> so I hand me the card and think it's that time. So, you know, then, you know, we watch Wheel of Fortune, because, you know, we're old people. So we're watching Wheel of Fortune every night, and there's Anna. Anna looks so good. Does she drink the blood of virgins? <laughs> hey, what does she do? Not a wrinkle on her face? She still stumbling around with her stilettos. I'm insensible flat. This is this just not going <laughs> Sorry, and I, I've been sick for the last three weeks, so I've got the three packs of cigarette and bourbon voice. I, I think I sound really sexy. <laughs> So I said to my husband, don't I sound awesome? Yes, I sound like Mark Simpson. <laughs> yeah. So my daughter, who drove up here, has been costing us a ton of money. Teenagers are very expensive. If you have a child who's not a teen, or you've already got them in teen years, you'll understand where I'm coming from. But she's, a, she's an athlete, she's a softball player. And uh, this isn't really funny. I just want to congratulate her on something. We've been spending the last year taking her all over the country to gave colleges and she has to get a t-shirt and a hoodie everywhere we go. So it's an additional $100 every single school we attend so she can get a hoodie. So today we stopped at the bookstore at the University of San Diego to buy the last hoodie. 
So she's over there. I'm all teary, I think I can save money now. So in, in addition to girl, like you have the boy child, the boy is the funny one. And um, if you saw my last routine, you'll know that my little boy at the age of 10 knew what a dirty Sanchez was. So I think it's some really excellent parenting. So we're at Dick's last resort one night, and the boy calls the waiter over. Sir, sir, there's a mistake on your menu. The waiter comes over and goes, what's up, kid? He goes, uh, <clears throat> see this drink? It's called the Strawberry Sanchez. I don't uh, think that's right. Goes, well, what should it be, son? He goes, well, it should be a dirty Sanchez. And the waiter says, well, what do you think that is? And my 10-year-old, as loudly as he could, said, well, it's a poop mustache. <laughs> So like I said, I've been really sick, so having a time to do a lot, I've been kind of observing the world around me. And uh, we were shopping at Nordstrom's a few weeks ago, because they have the cleanest restroom. <laughs> you have 50, you're looking for the clean potty. So I just happened to be sitting there, and I look up in the, in the handicapped restroom, because I think I'm old now, I can go to that one. And I look up, and the hook is like seven, for your purse, like seven feet off the ground. And I'm thinking, how is someone in a wheelchair? Reaching that seven foot hook. Because I can't reach it. I mean, I'm in there jumping. <laughs> so, yeah, we see that, and you take the kids shopping, and you know, I always thought the most embarrassing thing for a teenager was the feminine product aisle, until we realized that CVS carries vibrators. Oh. <laughs> they have an entire section full. And she's standing there on her phone, texting someone, having no idea that she's standing right in front of them, right down the hall, and they're taking pictures. <laughs> Because that's the guy that on social media. <laughs> so, since I've been six, I've been watching TV, so I just want to give you guys some of my favorite new infomercials. <laughs> so, yeah, the magical golden unicorn farts. Have you guys seen that one yet? Yeah. Yes. Hot guy with the unicorn. The squatty potty. <laughs> if you haven't seen that yet, wait until you watch it. You will never again eat a soft serve chocolate or a <laughs> off sex toys. <laughs> Blowing hard, wind power. <laughs> She's 53 but looks 35. Sex therapy for those that were 70. Can you read my writing? Oh, my very favorite, hello erections. <laughs> so I got, I guess, thank you.